Hi there, this is Jordan with Horizon Hobby, coming today to talk to you about the Hobby Zone Sport Cub S. It is a phenomenal trainer airplane that has been a favorite of many. Made with a durable EPO foam, the Sport Cub S comes with everything you need right in the box. The Sport Cub S2 is packed with technology, such as 2.4 gigahertz frequency, which is resistance to interference, as well as safe and AS3X, helping the plane avoid crashing and give a nice stable flight throughout. The ultra micro size makes the Sport Cub versatile. It can be flown at parks, sport fields, or large indoor facilities that accommodate RC flying. The Sport Cub S2 is a phenomenal trainer aircraft that has taught many to fly. Let's open it up and take a look. As we open the box, You will see the aircraft already completely put together. No gluing, no screwing, no wires, nothing you'll have to deal with. It is ready to go as it is out of the box. Notice the box is sturdy and provides a wonderful storage solution for your aircraft. In the box, we'll find the airplane, the controller or transmitter, AA batteries for the transmitter, the LiPo battery charger, and the LiPo battery itself to power the aircraft. You will also notice some extra screws and brackets. These are for the optional floats for the aircraft that can be bought separately. Underneath the foam that houses the plane, you will find your manual. In the bag with the manual, you'll find a couple extra goodies. a quick start guide, and the full in-depth manual. And last but not least, a wonderful Hobby Zone decal. All right, let's get this out of the box. You will notice some protective tape on the plane that needs to be removed. It's just kind of a plastic film to keep it from receiving any scratches or damage while in transport. The transmitter is held down with a zip tie and will need to be cut out. All right, we have removed the zip tie from the transmitter and it will slide right out. Also find your AA batteries, your charger, and the LiPo battery. We've got everything laid out that's in the box, including the airplane, manual, transmitter, transmitter batteries, LiPo battery, and LiPo charger. The USB LiPo charger that comes with this airplane will work in any USB port, but ideally you'll use a cell phone brick as that'll charge the fastest. Charge the battery by inserting into your USB port and then plug the battery into the charger. While charging, the red LED will light up indicating that the battery is being charged. The light will go out when it is finished. As soon as the battery is finished charging, remove it from the charger. Installing the included AA batteries to the transmitter is very simple. Open up the back of the transmitter and then open your batteries. When installing your AA batteries, watch for polarity, positive to positive, negative to negative.
Once your batteries are installed, you can power on to ensure that we are fully functional. You should see that green light change to blue right in the middle of the transmitter. If choosing to fly outdoors, be sure it's a mild, calm day with low wind. This aircraft is equipped with SAFE, which is a safety flight envelope that assists you in your flight to keep from crashing or to help you have a level, smooth flight. The transmitter has a flight mode switch with three flight modes. You'll see them labeled zero, one, and two. Flight mode zero is safe mode. It will not let the plane bank much at all. You can turn, but you will not get a sharp turn or any serious banking. Position one is intermediate mode. It still will not let the plane roll over, but it will give you significantly more banking. An expert mode is when you can see the full capability of the aircraft. It can loop and roll without the gyro system stopping it. You are in full control of the airplane in expert mode. If you get nervous, you can always flip back to beginner mode and it will level itself out and resume stable flying. Or you can push the panic button which essentially does the same thing. When taking off with the Sport Cub S2, there are two options. You can hand launch, where you hold it in your hand, increase throttle, and give a nice toss into the wind. Then, quickly get back on your other stick, and you can turn the plane and fly in your circles. Another method is a runway takeoff. Simply set the plane in the center of the runway, increase your throttle, and pull down on the elevator stick. Once the plane has gotten enough speed, it will take off and you can start flying your circles. The flight time is typically about four to five minutes on a single battery. When you reach your time limit, you will hit LVC, or low voltage cutoff. This is seen in this airplane by a, a pulsing in the motor or intermittent throttle control. If you notice this, it's time to land and charge the battery immediately. When coming in for a landing, center up with your runway the best that you can, decrease throttle, and use your elevator stick to dip the nose down to bring it in for a landing. Before you touch down to the ground, give the elevator a pull backwards to bring the nose up just a bit. This will give you a nice smooth landing on its wheels. The wheels can be removed if you prefer to belly land on grass. There is an optional float set available for purchase if you'd like to try taking off or landing on water. When in flight, fly in controlled circles. Know where you're headed, know when you're landing. Never fly above your head, above other people, or behind you. Don't fly into the sun, and don't fly in winds that are too much for this airplane. I would say five or 10 miles an hour is definitely this plane's limit. On your first flight, I'd recommend a calm day with little to no wind, no gusts over five miles an hour. Avoid flying too far away from you as to avoid risk of losing orientation with the aircraft and avoid flying at too high of altitudes as the wind speeds are much higher than on the ground. Once you've landed the aircraft, disconnect the battery immediately and charge it. If you have another battery, feel free to install that and keep flying. Never leave the LiPo battery plugged in the airplane for extended periods of time. This can damage the battery. Installing the flight battery is very easy. Just flip the plane over, there you'll find the lead and plug in your battery to that lead. You can then stick it to the plane. Verify that your surfaces are working. Moving the right stick left and right 
you will see the ailerons on the wings moving up and down. This will roll the aircraft. Moving the right stick up and down controls the elevator. This controls the pitch. The left stick controls our throttle. And moving it left and right controls our rudder. This controls the yaw of the aircraft. You can hear buzzing coming from the servos. That is the SAFE and AS3X system working in the airplane. You'll notice that with SAFE on, as I turn the aircraft, the surfaces move themselves to try to correct the plane and keep it level. When I switch this off, it no longer has the same effect and I can roll and loop the plane at will. The digital servos can make that odd buzzing sound, but this is completely normal. That is the SAFE and AS3X providing stability for your aircraft. When purchasing the aircraft, it is a great idea to pick up an extra battery so that when you're finished with your first flight, you can pop in another battery and double your flight time. Another useful item is an extra propeller. It can be common for airplanes if they happen to nose over or have a rough landing. The propeller can strike against a rock or hard surface and can be dented or damaged. If you have a damaged propeller, this can affect your flight and you should replace it. The Sport Cub S is an ideal trainer aircraft for the money. Another great tool for learning is the Real Flight program, available for download from Horizon Hobby on Steam. This allows you to fly hundreds of different RC aircrafts on multiple different fields and flying conditions to truly hone your skills. The Sport Cub S2 is an ideal plane to start with, but can still be a lot of fun for the beginner and the advanced pilot.